Okay, so here we are. Uh, last night at the conference, we've just gone under the bridge between the uh, Asian side and the European side. And I just wanted to ask you, Shelley and Sue, your thoughts about the conference. Would you like to start, Shelley? Uh, well, I, we can offer different perspectives, I guess, because this is Sue's first time. Uh, and this is my second year coming. And it's the first time you kind of get the sense of your mind is just blown away because you've never been to a conference quite like this. And this year it's really been able to soak in and it still blows your mind and I, I think that's just really phenomenal. Um, there's such a sense of community and, and the way that many of the teachers, I was speaking to someone today and I asked him, I said, I had met him, he's on Twitter and he says, yeah, yeah, we follow each other. And I said, yes, I saw your tweet this morning and I asked him, I said, how come you're on Twitter now? And he said, the reason is because last year at East Tech, you all showed me the sense of community and what a great professional development tool this is. And I just thought that was a really powerful uh, statement about this conference. Good. And for Sue, what um, has it been I... like for you? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I, I'd echo Shelley's, what Shelley said about being mind blowing, but it was equally mind blowing watching the live streaming last year. And I remember this, we were sort of on the back channel. And that was what galvanised me basically to go to conferences. Um, it was such a great experience and I thought, um, oh, I really have to go to IOTF or Harrogate and that's what sort of got me in the loop of, of going to conferences. But yeah, it's been brilliant. And like me and you, we only knew each other before on, on Twitter and we blogs. We did, and, didn't we, yes. And somehow, you know, we get on like brilliantly yeah. from the start, yeah? I mean, I and think... I, what, can you explain that phenomenon? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I said to you earlier, one of the things about Twitter is that it takes away that initial awkwardness of meeting people because you really feel that you 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 know a little bit about them because you connect with with them already. It's an amazing thing, it's, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, it's I'm incredible. surprised because I knew there were about 40 people here who I only knew off Twitter and blogs, and and the ease with which you strike up conversations at the beginning. It, it's a yeah. fabulous thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And what is, for you, yeah. Sue? Were the, the the highlights of the conference, or people you met, or interesting sessions that you went to? I mean, it's difficult to say. It's all been really <laughs> good. I, I'm not. I mean, every all the sessions I I picked were were really really interesting. Um, I don't know. Just the whole package for me is not like any other conference I've attended. It's been really well organised and. It's been a really, really great couple of days. Right, and and you yourself, Sue, you're you're very into ESOL in uh, in Britain at the moment, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you could tell us just a little bit about the situation, the current situation of ESOL in Britain. Um, it is very difficult at the moment. Um, the government is taking away an awful lot of ESOL funding. Um, the, I mean, it, people are objecting. There's been over 16,000 people at the last count who've signed the petition against funding cuts for ESOL. Um, I think if, it, if the government gets its plans to go through, uh, come September the, there is going to be very, very little provision for people who desperately need to learn English in the UK. And, and people who are disadvantaged, um, vulnerable groups are really, really going to suffer. I, um, I've heard figures bandied about that it's going to cost people a thousand pounds to actually get on a course to learn English. You know, I mean, where are people who are perhaps my group workers, lowly paid, going to be able to afford that? They're not. I, I, I think it's disgraceful, personally, and I'd urge anyone who is involved in ELT to join together with other people to fight the, what the government is proposing. And, and I know that you do a lot of work with refugees and, and how do you, what do you find are the best kind of methodologies of, of, of working with, with uh, people who come from other countries? Um, I, I, I think you know you, you, you have to personalise as, as much as possible and, 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 and sort of work in a way that addresses things that they want to speak about and what they need. And, and you did a session together with Shelley. If you can tell us, uh, Shelley, maybe a little bit about the session that you that you did with Sue, and what was it about? Well, first of all, working with Sue and uh, doing a presentation with her has been a phenomenal experience. We did a workshop called Tech Without Tears, 
and every possible tech problem that could happen happened to us. <laughs> and it was a true testament to our workshop. So which things? Which things happened? Yeah. Well, the <laughs> where can we start? <laughs> Let's see, our, the internet didn't work, we didn't need that, that's okay, we were prepared. We have plan B. We tried to plug in my Mac that was incompatible with the LCD. We opened the bag of candy to answer questions and it exploded everywhere like a piñata. <laughs> 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 it goes on from <laughs> and on, but uh, the great thing was that um, you know, we talked about offline uh, activities where you don't need the internet and things like that. And we, we even gave a CD of templates and things like that. And Sue did a phenomenal job of creating these uh, flash templates and things that were personalized. And then I did mobile learning offline. And afterwards, last night, there were a lot of people who came up to me and said, Oh, wow, you know, this, this, this was what you said and what you two said we believe in and yes we think you know this is how we'll use technology with the kids or with the adults but and they kept having these conversations and I thought well that's a great sign of a workshop you know no matter what happened we had these people come up and talk to us about it and you know said what they disagree with and what they agreed but they just cared enough and were passionate enough to talk to us about it. I, I just echo what Shelley said. It's been wonderful getting the opportunity to work with her, and and, and I really enjoyed it. And and I, I do think that you know people need this sort of information. I've been teaching with technology for a very long time, and basically just about everything that can go wrong in the last using technology has gone wrong. Uh, and I mean, I'm, I, I've been sharing my ideas with people because I I, I think teachers ought to get on board with using technology. Um, I don't think anybody should be forced to use technology, but I think in the world that we live in, um, if you want to sort of be employed as, as a teacher, you have to get on board with it because you're limiting your opportunities for, for being employed if, if you don't. And in a few years' time, though, it, it's going to get more and more important, yeah. Right, that's fantastic. Thanks ever so much for uh, coming up here on on deck. You know, if, if it wasn't so cold, it'd be feel like we're on we're on holiday. Get back and enjoy the dancing and and enjoy the rest of the evening. Yeah. Can I just say we're going to be at Ayatafel in about a week yes. or so, aren't we? Yes. Um, I'm I'm going I'm going to be talking uh, more about. I'm going to be giving a talk about teaching with technology plan B, and that's very much focused on what to do when technology breaks down so simple ideas for for getting your lesson on track while you're waiting for someone to come fix things and Shelley you're going to be mobile learning about with learning. young learners uh, doing digital storytelling so if you're going to Brighton make sure you get along to Sue and Shelley's session thanks very much yeah. <laughs> thank you very much thank, thank you, you. Yeah.